What's up, guys? Mitt was two of you here back again. Well, I I went to a garage sale today. I bought some more tools. I thought I would share them with you guys. This is a off chance that I was running to a garage sale. I saw it online, saw some Snap-on stuff from the pictures. Thought, okay, let's go check it out. Picked up a few items. They're nothing special. It's not going to be as cool as the Mac, um, you know, tool haul that we sh we had the other day. But nonetheless, it's some stuff that I picked up. So let's kind of take a look and see what we got. Kind of move that out. I was working on another video for you guys. And yeah, so here we have, you can barely make it out. Snap on screwdriver, flat tip, broken. That's going to probably be warrantied out. Got um, snap on metric wrench. This is a uh, 16 millimeter standard one. And I, I knew that I needed, I have an older set of snap-on wrenches. Yeah, see, this is a newer style 16. So theoretically, this would be the 16 millimeter wrench that I'm missing for that actual set. So that's cool. Uh, this, is, this is an extra long one. So, but now we've got that, that missing wrench. Uh, expert 30 millimeter wrench. Really good condition. Uh, if you don't know, Expert is uh, Max, like affordable brand, if you want to call it that. Uh, so it does have an offset, unique offset on that end. That's pretty cool. Uh, but picked up that. An Armstrong double box end wrench. Uh, this is a, what size is it? Uh, oh, one and one sixteenths and 15 sixteenths. Double box end, like a 10 degree. Um, offset on there on each each end another snap-on screwdriver this is a number one Phillips Craftsman USA 15 millimeter wrench I already have a Craftsman USA set and uh, I don't know this 15 or 16 or 17 one of those sizes I am missing so I grabbed that as well it is the old Craftsman USA um, set and these were made by Jesus can I get it right orientation wise these were made by I want to say um SK they were made by SK I believe that's the case uh Matco um 11 millimeter um socket wrench six point on that end now this is pretty good because I think it's Ford that uses 11 millimeter one of my vehicles I can't remember which one it is they use 11 Maybe it's the BMW. I can't recall, but I know that I, I bought another set of tools, like some sockets or something like that, and it didn't have a, an 11. And it was like, why didn't it come with an 11? Because how frequently that vehicle needs that uses that size fastener, but whatever. I've uh, got a set of, uh, these are called Ram Tool uh, Straight Flute Square uh, Extractors. And the sizes are, I guess it doesn't give you the size, but because why would it but um, anyway these are those square fluted style extractors looks like the set's complete um, I don't own any of this type but I know there are a lot of people that say that these are really good style to have so I figured why not pick them up these are made in China so they'll probably be something we throw in my truck um, another snap on um, pick hose pick tool uh, it is broken on that end so we'll probably end up warranting it out unless we can reprofile it. I already have this tool, I believe. I know I have one in my, in my truck. Um, I try to keep a good array of different tools on my truck because I never know what I'm going to need out in the field. Yeah, here's one. Same tool right here. So you can see when you look at the ends that... Um, yeah, it is broken. Well, actually, that's actually a different angle, too. So what's the part number on this one? This one is a SGA-174S, and this is an SGA-173. Okay, so this is the next one in that series. So that's cool. So that's a different, totally different tool, but we'll have to get that warrantied out. Look how much dirt's in there. Um, got a Mac tool here. Uh, this is a uh, flathead screwdriver. Is it a flathead? Yeah, or I don't know. 
that's kind of a, I think somebody profiled it that way. I think it's just a regular screwdriver and someone modified the end. Mac has been horrible at getting things warrantied out. So that'll probably just sit in the 2B warranty bin that I have. And at some point in time, we'll try to get it replaced. Uh, snap on 13 millimeter deep. Uh, snap on 22 millimeter deep, six point wallowed out there as they say impact uh, this is a snap on 19 millimeter 3 8 drive six point that's looks like that's pretty much brand new and then the last one we got here is a snap on 18 millimeter so 3 8 drive so you guys do the math I mean if I had to speculate you know, you're talking probably 20 something, 20 some dollars a piece for these picks and these screwdrivers. So let's say 20, 40, 60 dollars for the screwdrivers. Let's say the snap on wrench is another 20 some dollars. So that's 80 dollars. Uh, the Craftsman, I could probably pick it up off of eBay for 10 dollars. So that's 90. The Maco 10, that's 100. The, the two bigger wrenches, let's say 30 a piece, you know. You, you know, if you did a math, I mean, if I buy everything used, I probably could buy it all for less than 150 bucks. If I bought it all brand new, I mean, you're talking probably upwards of $200. So just kind of show you what you can find at a garage sale. Uh, it is it's as simple as, um, you know, when they post pictures, look at the pictures, you know, analyze the pictures because you don't want to waste your time. This particular sale was about 30 minutes away from our home. Uh, still in Fort Wayne, but but on a totally different side of town. Um, but we knew of it before. We had been there before. Uh, and it had a good um, view of all the tools on the table. They were all piled on top of each other. But I just was just able to make out these red handle snap-on screwdrivers so or picks. I believe someone else bought the other one <clears throat> because I believe there were two of these, but I couldn't find it. But, yeah, you, you know, pretty good haul for... The t oh, and I spent $20 for this entire lot here. And uh, actually, I spent less on the tools because my son, uh, my, bo my actually both my boys picked up some um, Batman toys. So they bought some Batman figurines and some Batman cars. And so for the toys plus the, um, the tools, uh, we made out with $20 uh, invested. So that's a pretty good deal. So I would say... Um, conservatively, we probably spent $15 on these tools and another five bucks on the toy. So $15 investment. And I probably have 10 times as much value or more than what we were able to get. So like I said, we'll, you know, figure out what we're going to need to be warranty out, get replaced and everything else. We'll get it cleaned up. Uh, and like I said, this is all going to be going into, uh, my storage box on my truck. And that's where to live. You gonna come on out? So, hope you guys like the tool haul. Um, just a Saturday morning um, garage sale. So, all right, guys, catch you in the next one. Peace.